was that was really good with lyrics huh once no time no more once upon a time most people call it an rpg mmo because of how story yeah um like i originally started playing this and i was like i just want to see the story i'm not planning on doing any end game stuff i'm not going to worry about gear i'm not going to do any of that stuff and um now as somebody that has finished the story officially i am a lot more receptive to the idea <laughs> of doing end game activities in this game all right i want to see these lyrics though find your wings and spread them wide I know we just watched the trailer, but I want to see the lyrics. Ah, blue seas, clear skies, and boundless possibilities. I'm going to give some, like, absolutely absurd wild lore speculations in a second. Enjoying yourself for a change? Hmm. It's time for the journey of our lives compared to the journey that we just went through. Interesting. Hmm. I'm connecting everything to my weird, my weird story now. Orlando Blue is so out of this. I love that the Mamulja have that, or that she has the axe that the Mamulja do in the trailer. No cause for panic. And it looks like this Godzilla type thing has Cerulean, maybe? It's gonna turn out to be right. Part of me hopes I'm not. But I think if they tell it well, it'd actually be a really cool story. When I say it's wild lore speculation, I'm talking wild. To the heavens as we ride, fighting through the storm, leaving our shadows far behind. As we walk right to the end, to a trial we'd have faced, turn back to transcend, or do we decide our fate? Where do we go? Or do do we decide our fate? So I'm I'm all i i'm already right in the idea that fate has something to do with the whole with the story there is something obvious uh, okay obvious that's a that's not a wild lore speculation you saw what they did there did you Can, yeah the shadows yeah yeah all of the different D they said storm too right the heavens we yeah they referenced all of the expansions they said the heavens to be brought yeah yeah they did all that um uh but the thing, do, do we, speculating the lyrics of a song because they're usually connected to the story. No. So I already said during the patch content that the coincidences were too weird and it was either the writers just doing it and like, ah, you know, or it's actually meant to be so coincidental, right? Because there's too many, in the patch content specifically, there's just too many coincidences, it feels like to me. And then the idea of fate and stuff, and then Thancred and Urian J kind of mentioned. I think that there's another, there's something bigger. There's something bigger going on that is dictating fate. Fate is a primal. I don't think so. I don't think I think I think it might get pretty fucking meta here. I think they're going to get really meta and weird, but I think it's going to work out. Again, I I also think my theory is about where this lore is going is completely wrong. I just want to before I ever say it, I just want everyone to know I think it's wrong. <laughs> Why do we fight the Dawn Servant? Is that the competition? We have to defeat the current Dawn Servant to become so that she can become the new Dawn Servant? Like we have to defeat the current one? Surely it's more than that. I feel like we won't know for a while. Oh, I bet you this is going to be one of the first things we do. It's like the Highlander. There can only be one. <laughs> Yeah. 
I'm because that is the Dawn servant, right? She said that the, her dad, her adopted dad, the current Dawn servant. What if this is not the Dawn servant, but one of the children? Maybe, but they specifically said that she said that her dad, the current Dawn servant, was blessed with two heads. This is a Mamulja with two heads, unless there's other ones, which could be. This is the first time I'm more excited for a while. Really? I'm way more excited for Dawn Trail than I thought I would be. That is for sure. Day. One day at a time. They're clearly bonga. True. Looking for the statue there. I just love this thing. Like, it just it's just cute, just to show like the nature of the. Is that a Rothgar standing up straight? Wait a minute. They would have already they would have already announced if they were gonna offer that, right? Right? That's totally a Rothgar standing up straight. Yeah, he is. Are they what they would have announced they would have they would have said something, right? It would be in the it'd be in the uh thing that y'all did, the technical whatever. Maybe, no, that's a male. That's a male one for sure. That's totally. That's a. That's a male Rothgar for sure. They have better doctors in the new world. Sad MMOs almost never update their graphics engines, so the cinematic look. Oh, I know. Yeah, he's definitely standing up straight. As much as I love my bunny boy, I I would make a Rothgar immediately if they could stand up straight and I could be a Ronzo. I love this like oh you can't the suspenders and like weird like I don't know colonial not colonial. Yeah. The here every tale is painted whole. Tonight our songs of life, our fortunes are crystal clear. Might you have a moment to speak further? Is he looking for the golden city? What is the music happening behind? It's it's her starting. There it is. To eternity. Yo, I'm totally going Viper though, I'll tell you what. No question. They look like they're, he looked like he's having fun. Like it's not, it's a competition more than it is like a fight to the death. That, that fight didn't seem like it had stakes. It felt like it was a test, a, a thing. So I do think that is this, I do think that is the Dawn Servant. Looks like a friendly thing for sure. She said something before eternity, but I couldn't catch it. She does, right? She, like when the song boots up.
I can't hear what she says before that. We, you can speculate away. We all, I know, I know you don't. Know. That's what I'm so excited for. I get to speculate and y'all can't tell me I'm wrong or that I'm right. You just have to listen to my bullshit or hit the X button and close the stream. I'm really glad Graha, it made it sound like Graha wasn't going, but he does. And that's great. And he eats a taco. Dude, this game is telling me to get a burrito. Look at the little baby mamushas. If they don't do, there better be a Taco Bell crossover. Chanting what we knew, calling for bliss. Hope is small, but we can keep our prayer. Fulfill my honest dream for this. Took two hearts till sorrow strives to an end. This way my olden soul transcends. Took two hearts till sorrow strives to an end. This way my olden soul transcends. Huh. Everyone's gay. That's cool. So we'll color the night with laughter and light. So with all we've inscribed, we can find our way. See, they say that fate, we can do what we want. Can't see the end until we close our eyes and time. Why does the song end right there? Why do they not continue? Why does it go back into the other song? Why? Until we close, until we close our eyes and what? Time. Join in the song and its choir as you ride the waves of time. Iron Walker's trailer song got expanded in Ultima Thule and it hit hard. Yes, it did. Yes, it really did. Join in the song and its choir as you ride the waves of time. Time. Solution 9, the future. Are we going to the future in this expansion? Hmm. Okay, I might have two different theories then. I think we're going to the future, maybe. And that's what the solution nine stuff is, is it's not like a, it's not like an elegant thing of like a, oh, this is where, 
you know, this old civilization. I don't know. It could be. So, okay. So here's the crazy ass whack theory that I was thinking, uh, which totally isn't true. Everyone that isn't dead is always going into the future. Oh, shush. Nemia did say she was curious as to see where, uh, see where we'll go now that we are beyond fate or something. Right. That picture definitely gives you futuristic. Right. I mean, the Allegan stuff in general would too, right? If you saw that, it'd be like, oh, that's future. But it's not. It's the past because that civilization has been destroyed. And I was thinking the same thing with the Solution 9 stuff. But I think maybe that's not it. Especially with he says, close our, close our eyes and we'll go. I think somehow we'll go forward Dawn Trail to New Horizon. There's on the, you know, future. They keep talking about fate. I think they're going to, I think more realistically, I think they're going to take us into the future somehow, which makes sense. We've been to the past. We've never been to the future. And I wonder why. Maybe we need to do something in the past for the future. And that's like some of the plot stuff. Who knows? Uh, yeah, I think my crack shot theory is wrong now. For sure. Which is good, maybe, because I think it was stupid, but it would have been cool. Uh, all right, so I'll tell you all what my theory was. I don't know if this is edging here. Uh, I was thinking that potentially they were going to reveal that we that the world of Final Fantasy fourteen, or at least our world, that we've experienced up to this point and everything else, and and the ancients, and the ancients specifically especially the ancients was a simulation by whatever this civilization is that is solution nine that literally looks like we're inside of a computer i was thinking maybe the ancients were were a simulation and in this simulation just grew to a point where it was its own thing. It was its own world. It was its own as real as anything else. And it started off as just like this, you know, this thing that they had, but it created its own. It just it just became its real its own reality. And and these people, these whoever the civilization is, was uh, uh, something happened to them. That made them not be able to engage, not be able to control the simulation anymore, and it became its own thing. Uh, so, like the simulation, it's yes, sure, it like started as a simulation, but it's still as real as anything else, right? Like it doesn't, it doesn't matter what it was or what it, you know, what have been eventually at some point. It's now it it has just evolved to the point where it's not a Theris or the whole last world. I think. The whole ass world, this whole dimension that we exist in, that everything would be a simulation. And Solution 9 is like, and, and that, I'm saying Solution 9, but that, whatever that civilization is, exists outside of that. And they created that, the one that we're in, but it's not, it's not, it's not real. It's not our, it's not. Uh, or it's real now, but it like didn't start off as real. It'd be like playing an MMO, and that MMO uh, gained sentience and started to s expand on its own, and we couldn't do so. All the failed, yeah, every the whole universe. It started off as like a a thing that they could engage in, that they could that they could play a game they could play, and then it ended up becoming or like you know a simulation they could they could do stuff, make stuff happen, and blah blah blah, and then it ended up. Uh, so it is, yeah, Matrix theory. Um, very much hope you're wrong. I hate that it was all a dream trope. Yeah, I don't think they, I don't think that. I, I think, I think if, 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 if theory is way too meta. I, the amount of times though that there is like a, this meta-ness to the game itself like, that's why, I mean, I this theory is wrong. Like, it's straight up wrong. I know it's wrong. I just want it in, I want to voice it now in case it's not. <laughs> in case, like, five years from now, we're like, wait a minute. You know? And you can go back and be like, holy shit, this dumbass guy said this way back. 
you know but it but it works like if they could if they could get it to work that way like if they could get it to work and they were able to tell it in a cool way because because i don't think it would remove the stakes as long as it's like it's no longer it, it sure it, who cares if the origination point of this world is a simulation who cares because at this point it's simulation theory right it doesn't matter if we're living in a simulation realistically why does it matter right it it straight up just doesn't matter because we are still cognizant and aware and we still you know as long as as long as they can't still mess with it the simulation is its own thing it's just going now who cares right it doesn't it the people still are we're still doing our thing we're still got our own stakes we still got our stuff that we're dealing with we still got our issues um the origination point doesn't really matter at that at that point the plot of a wow expansion i'd be more on board if solution i was at least three expansions from here basically you want to be in the game i think that there is i think there are so many times in this game where they 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 break the fourth wall they're not actually breaking the fourth wall right but us as the player and knowing that this is a video game they are breaking the fourth wall the characters aren't like, it's not Deadpool being like, did you get that one, viewer? You know, it's it's never that. So it's different. But it also would explain how the ancients were just like, they're just like there and like able to do all of this stuff because they're creating. Like, what if, what if the ancients originally were like players from Solution 9's world? Like the, the, this, this thing that extends beyond them, they start, that's what they, that's what the ancients started off as. And then, and then they lost a connection or it, the, the, it advanced too far and it became its own thing and they could no longer access it. And it, it just, it just became this thing and they couldn't, they couldn't do anything. Maybe it's another shard. It could definitely be, it could also just <clears throat> theory aside, it could literally just be a shard. I think it could be a bit much for the start of a new story, but in later expansions. I do enjoy it. Yeah. Well, that's what I mean. The fourth wall breaking in this game is not... Like, an example of fourth wall breaking is Vana saying, has your journey been good? Has it been worthwhile? That's a fourth wall breaking moment, but not in the context of her asking us. We, as the player, apply the context to make it a fourth wall breaking moment, but it's not actually a fourth wall. You know what I mean? And I feel like this game actually does that quite a bit. Let's say you are right. Who is the 100% NPC of that game? Who is the 100% NPC? What do you... Uh... I'm not sure I know what you mean. Everyone, at this point, everyone would be an NPC. Because the, so in my theory, the the people that created the simulation no longer have access to the simulation. It is its own thing. They can't, they can't do anything about it anymore. They can't access it. They can't change it. They can't, it is, it has done its own thing and they're, they're basically stuck watching. So Solution 9 is PlayStation Home. Yeah, like, kind of, um... Okay, I'm going to I'm going to put a finger up for spoilers for another game. Uh and when I put it down, <laughs> that means I'm done talking about it. Uh it's spoilers for Star Ocean till the end of time. That game, it is revealed that the galaxy in which you are doing stuff uh is actually a video game made by uh fourth uh 4D beings. They are, they exist beyond our thing. They're 4D beings that have created this, this video game. Uh, but this video game has evolved to the point, this, this, it's literally a video game, has evolved to the point now where it is too, uh, it is too sentient, it is too, uh, 
it is its own, it is its own world. They still have connection. They still have control in the game. They still have all of this stuff. They can still access. They can they can. There's a there's a player character that joins your team that's totally a 4D being playing with you. Uh, to go with your finger. I don't like giving Twitch money via bits. Uh, the so they 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 can play this game. There's a character in the game. The simulation is its own entity. Yeah, but. They still have control and stuff. So they basically introduce in the in the plot of the game of the the actual game we're playing, not the game that the 4D beings are playing. They introduce what is essentially a virus to eliminate the simulation and start over because it is it it's too much. So what appears to these to you playing the game, the characters that you're playing as are viewing this as really, really advanced tech. And they're like, how are, who is, what civilization is doing this? Who is this advanced that they're able to attack us like this? And then they find out that they're actually, uh, they're a video game. And that there exists a 4D being beyond them that is above, above them and controls everything. Uh, that controls everything because they don't actually have say over, but they, they can play the game. The game is happening, but they can like play a character, you know, you can't like, inhabit somebody right that's not how the simulation works it's not like you can be like i want to play as that guy no like you have there are characters there are there are players and then there are like the sentient simulation people themselves you can't play as them a lot of people don't like the game's plot because they feel like it you're the video game you're playing is revealed to be a video game which is also a video, like, you know what I mean? So people don't like that. But I think it actually works really well because the stakes are still there. It still matters. Just because it's a simulation, just because it's a video game that these 4D beings can fuck with doesn't make what they're going through or the, the you know what I Like, there's still, that's still happening. It's not like, they're, the 4D beings are essentially just our concept of like a god, right? Creating a, a thing and doing stuff. Um, and I kind of feel like a similar thing is happening to Final Fantasy 14. Not obviously not like one for one, but anyways, that's why that's why I feel that way is because I've I've seen that's the a similar story told. And it feels it feels like they they could be going that way. Are they? No. No, I don't think it's ever going to be revealed that uh, Final Fantasy fourteen is a simulation. But <laughs> just in case it is, the more the more likely thing. Thank you for the hydrate. The more likely thing Don Trail is now entering Margaritaville. I just realized the name of the video you linked. Uh, the more realistic thing is this: the 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 solution nine worlds and all of that stuff is either a reflection that maybe never had ASEAN metalment for some reason and is actually doing really well uh and potentially can can like that's our that's our way they they somehow have advanced to the point where they actually can uh maybe affect the reflections in some way since everything should have since they're all kind of tied to the source maybe if you, they figured out a way to do stuff on their reflection that would then cause stuff to happen on the source like you know there could be like that could be a thing that's happening or it's the future the lyrics of the song actually make me think that it's the future the first part of it made me think that uh we're on this gilded path, this this thing that has to lead somewhere, and like all of these other fate things are happening. Um, but I'm wondering if it's it could just be a reflection that's advanced because it never had to deal with Asian metalment. It never had calamities. It never had, uh, it never had to start over. It's just been one big astral era, you know. That'd be cool. On a completely unrelated note, if someone likes puzzle games and that kind of story, you should play the Talos Principle. Yeah, maybe I need to play that one. All right, so what's this? What's this Dawn Trail now? Seven point now entering Margaritaville. Uh, the drink that um, Oriange had made me think of Margaritaville. 
one of them could be further ahead in the timeline and something I think might be possible. Yeah, I think that'd be dope. I mean, technically the first, technically the first would be ahead of our timeline too, right? Because the crystal tower on the source would have had to go through all of the different things to then arrive at the, like it didn't go to a reflection in the past. It went to a reflection at the time that it left, right? So tech, I don't know actually how that works. I don't know. Was that semen? <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Both jobs will be DPS. You fucking what, mate? That <laughs> rip chemistry, that's great. Solution 9's on the map. Oh. They're now open to so much. <laughs> oh, there was! I noticed that too! There totally was on the map. Nice. I am Orlando. <laughs> Perfection. Lizard man. What is that? What are these from? Man. And we're very happy to announce the Xbox version of Final Fantasy XIV. Father Hell. Uh, we've reached the triple digits. <laughs> this is a nice fish. Big fucking eyes. Wow. <laughs> That's good. Get some help. Shit. It's up my ass. Just take a look at this. <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> that was great. Hello, how are you? I am under the water. Please help me. <laughs> that's great. The the big fat taco edit. That's delightful. Big fat tacos. Graha gets a big fat taco. Love it. 